Hello YouTube, this is Alan, also known as Sports Cards for Us, bringing you a recap video. Uh, this week, just got in the brand new 2022 Select Football First Off the Line. I, had, I was able to get two boxes, got them last night, and going to go ahead and uh, let you know what I got. Um, Select overall is just one of my favorite products um pretty much across the board football and basketball one of the reasons being i just i like the uh, array of cards um you know you get your base rookies your 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 silvers your colored you know numbered stuff um you know with the first off the line you get the exclusive orange pulsar or you get the uh, tiger stripe um short print super short print prism um, base or, or rookies, you also get the uh, X rookies uh, for football. So that's why I think football select is probably the best bang for your money. It is expensive, it is you know more expensive than optic, it's even more expensive than um, prism. Um, it seems like you know here out of the gate, um, but. It just, you know, I think with Prism, with Optic, you know, Optic, you only get one auto. Prism, you know, you're, you're basically, it's tough. It's tough to pull something really good um, with Prism generally. It's kind of a hit or miss. Uh, with Select, you know, you do get two autos and one memorabilia. So you do get three hits. Uh, so anyways, let me know in the comments what you guys think, um, guys and gals out there. If you feel like, you know, between Prism, Optic, and Select, which one is the funnest, I would say, to open uh, from an investment standpoint, you know, which of the three, uh, if any, do you feel like, um, you know, you have the best chance. Now, granted, you know, Prism is number one, so if you do pull that big rookie 101, you know, you are talking big bucks, but it's extremely difficult. With Select, I feel like you can pull maybe not that, you know, $50,000 card, but you can pull a five to ten k card, um, and it's not as difficult. I um, mean, it's difficult, but it's not going to be as difficult. Anyways, uh, so let's do the recap. Two boxes. First box, I'm um, just going to show you the... First off the line exclusive, is it is the Neon Orange Pulsar. Uh, it is number 230. And uh, I was able to pull Jordan Davis here, 16 of 30. Uh, it is listed in my eBay store, uh, all under sports cards for us. If you see back there. Uh, this is cool, real nice patch, you know, auto. Obviously, you know, you want to pull uh, Kenny Pickett, you know, maybe uh, you know one of the quarterbacks, Purdy, Howell, Ritter, one of those guys or one of the top, you know, receivers. But, you know, still not a bad, not a bad card to pull. Could have been a lot worse. Uh, and, you know, if you, if you actually look at uh, his cards, there's really not a lot of patch autographs of his. Um, so I think this one will do, will do well. Uh, and then the main hit uh, from box number one is actually the second autograph, not your uh, first off the line exclusive. And I got lucky to pull a George Pickens True Gold rookie signatures signed in black ink, which I thought is really cool that he did that. I don't know if it was his idea or Panini's, but... Uh, and it's just really nice color match there. I mean, you just see the gold with the black. I mean, just a beautiful card. Number to 10. Um, let's see where's the numbering there. There we go. 3 of 10. And just a, a really nice card overall. Um, this is in my eBay store. I do have it listed for $7.99. Uh, 99 or best offer. Um, I do have offers right around the 450 to 500 mark. Uh, so if you guys are interested, hit me up. Uh, I think I'd like to be somewhere in the 6 to 650 range for it. Um, so uh, hit me up if you're interested. 
Uh, and then uh, for this, I think I have it for 200 or best offer, and I received a $100 offer so far. So, you know, probably like to be around 125 to 150 if I can on that one. Um, let's start out with the uh, Orange Pulsar Rookie Patch Auto. So this is a redemption. Rookie Signature Memorabilia Neon Orange Pulsar Prism Quay Walker. For the Green Bay Packers. I seem to be pulling a lot of his stuff. <laughs> um, I actually pulled his, uh, what was it? I think it was, uh, was it the Prism or Optic Premium? Was it? I think it was the Optic Premium box set where um, you got one, one of one um, black um, card, Black Fanite. Uh, well, I don't know if the, the, the name was Black Fanite. Well, was, the design was Pandora, so. I think, uh, you know, you'd call it a Black Pandora. Uh, well, whatever, it was a, a one-on-one card that you got on the, on the as a box topper from the premium set, and I ended up getting Quay Walker. So, anyway, so this one should be number the 30. And um, so this one, I um, have not listed it yet. I will. And um, I'm probably going to list it for like 100 bucks for best offer. So... You know, somewhere in the seventy-five to hundred dollar range, I'm guessing. Uh, I'm sure he doesn't have many patch autographs. Maybe if if any, and if that's the case, I mean, uh, I'll have to do a little research. Then I may put it a little bit higher. Um, but you know, that's kind of at first glance what I'm thinking. Um, let me do. Let me show you guys the, this one next. Uh, so you either get the orange pulsar non-auto out of seven or you get a tiger stripe and i got uh the tiger stripe here nice one aiden uh, hutchinson put this one currently listed at 1500 or best offer in my ebay store um, now if you're familiar with select you know that it's concourse premier level Recently, they introduced the club level, and then you've got the field level. Well, this year, they have concourse, premier level, club level, and then they added a new one, suite level, which is this one here, and then the field level. Now, field level, they made it horizontal, which it's always been vertical. And I know people generally like vertical cards, so I'm not sure how... People are going to, um, what they're going to think about that field level being horizontal. This may be the top choice. We'll see. We'll see based on, you know, sales. But it is a cool looking uh, design. It's new. Usually new doesn't do really good. But the fact that they made that field level horizontal may cause people and collectors and investors to go after the sweet level. So anyways, nice tiger stripe there of Hutchinson. Um, realistically, what I, or what am I looking to get out of it? I'm not sure. Um, we'll have to see. Uh, my first instinct is probably around 500 bucks, but you guys, if you're interested, let me know. Um, next one is a big one. So these X rookies, love them. You know, this is this is the only product that you can uh, get these in. So these are basically going to be your first, you know, rookie cards, NFL uniform of the 2023 class. Um, I was, uh, you know, I'm a Trey Lance collector. Um, when when you know last year. Uh, so I ended up buying two of these, and I bought the golds. Um, I have them. <laughs> uh, they're graded, if anybody's interested. I have a BGS Pristine 10, and I have a 9.5. You can also see them, pictures of them on my Instagram. Uh, I'll be taking those to the National this year with me. Uh, so this one here is the Anthony Richardson Quarterback 3. So if you remember, Bryce Young was drafted one, C.J. Stroud two, and then Richardson was drafted fourth, but the third quarterback overall. So this is going to be his first 
NFL cards, silver prism, and I have this listed at uh, 2,000 or best offer. Already have a lot of messages, a lot of offers on this one. Um, highest offer I've received so far is 650-ish range. Uh, I am looking to get as close to a thousand as I can for it. So, anybody interested, let me know. And then, last but not least, I think this one is one of those cards that I'm not looking to sell right now unless I just get blown away by an offer. Um, but I got a one of one rookie premier level of, let's see here, the Saints, Rashid. Let's see if we can get it zoomed in eventually. Maybe. Maybe not. All right, let's go from the back. <laughs> uh, Rashid. There we go. Rashid Shahid. So he was undrafted. But as you can see there, he, um, I think, played the last couple of games of the season. Had a, one or two touchdowns. And he is... One of those kind of sneaky fantasy players um, that may have a breakout year. You got Derek Carr as the quarterback. I love this guy has no like no licensed cards. I think this is select is going to be his first licensed card. Um, so for that reason, I think I'm going to hold on to this card. I feel like you know if I sold it now, it's probably worth a few hundred, maybe three, four hundred bucks. Um, but I feel like this could easily, you know, first game gets two touchdowns. This could easily be a, you know, thousand dollar card. So, anyways, let me know your thoughts on him. Do you like him? If you're a Saints fan, what do you think? Do you like the card? What do you think the value is? Do you think it's worth me holding on to? Should I just sell it now? Anyways, so um, this one is, yeah, at this moment not for sale. But there you go. Two boxes. I'm uh, I'm very happy with the boxes. Um, again, that's kind of uh, what you can expect when you're opening select first off the line or even a uh, hobby. You just have an opportunity to get some nice cards. Um, you know, are you going to get your money back every box? Absolutely not. Are you going to, you know, have some duds dud boxes out there? Of course, but you know, overall, you probably pull some at least one or two decent cards and you know you have the chance to maybe do something with them grade them hold on to them hopefully you know they go up so if you guys uh and gals have any questions let me know if you're interested again go to my ebay store um, i'm also going to post uh, a video uh, on my instagram uh, of these pools so you can check out the video there and again it's all under sports cards for us thank you have a good one